Oh man, we don't get any music for a little bit. But welcome back to Translating Angels of Scaly Wings, where we're going to translate some stuff with Sebastian. I love how Sebastian gets a slightly weird role at this point. Oh, he has so much to do. Oh, such an important boy. Which again, kind of hints at the fact that Sebastian would have been a dateable character, because he has a lot of screen time for someone who, doesn't has, who only has one date, you know? Like, he has a lot of screen time. I mean, Emera does too, to an extent, but it's kind of confined to, like, a few choice encounters. Sebastian pops up left and right a little bit. I guess Anna only really does if you save her. She, uh, yeah. Really depends on the character, I guess. <coughs> Unlike Kevin, and Katsuharu show up exactly once. Shang shows up a couple of times to, you know. I like this. It's, uh, how did you get to the... What did, like, what the hell made you think to do this, you know? That's kind of what he's saying. Baron's gonna come up next. Why don't we play that? Oh, I, man. Some of these songs just straight to the heart, man. Stabby, stabby. Ugh. Yeah, this isn't gonna show up creepy, Sebastian. Sebastian, I get a little nope. It's like, pedophile interspecies. Maybe? And then he puts like, he does a huge massive flourish like, cha -ching! Question mark. <laughs> like a fucking anime character. Like, cha -ching! And then he, naturally, he does it so left to right, like, shing shing, goes down, it's a nice triangular shape, it's a quick circle, and then, whoo, swings his hand out, and it's like up in the air. <laughs> you know, like he's fucking using a sword. <laughs> Ugh. He did something good, player name. I wanted to do uh, Doom today, but I really don't want to do that fucking level. The level's got a bad taste in my mouth. Oh. You know, not, not 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 like it like like it's garbage, but oh man, like those are uh, th difficulty ramps up really fast. Also, fun fact: a bunch of my videos are now uh, on the people don't want to advertise on this list. I wonder if it's purely because of the titles, because the descriptions aren't. Th eh, maybe description. I don't know what it uses. Does it scan the video? I assume it mostly focuses on keywords and titles, in which case it's a worthless system, because anyone can circumvent that. But whatever. A background check. Is there a word for that? You think they would, because his job kind of takes him all around the city. You think he would have some degree of contact? This is really, this is a little bit more sassy, but Jesus Christ, if Sebastian is being sassy with this, I might as well be. Oh, we already found him. You remember the maintenance guy who was the second victim? That was him. <laughs> like, really just a drive home. Okay. God, I love that picture of Saitama going, okay. It just perfectly captures just someone going, and you're like, okay. Yeah, I mean, you have free fucking healthcare. You think there would be a slightly better inspection as to her health, considering she has a fucking doctor that writes out prescriptions and all that. But we never talked to her, so we don't know, and Vera doesn't talk much, so we don't know. Like, I'm specifying this because it kind of makes sense. With recipes and doctors, you would kind of expect a little bit more oversight, a little bit more insight into the situation. And then, of course, but some just fall through the crack.
Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that is, because you, you want to know something funny? The reason the housing prices here are expensive is because of travel time. I imagine that in the Dragon World, sort of a double-edged short. On one hand, um, you could make very minimalistic housing get away with it, because they don't need... Because they can live with minimal creature comforts, you know? Um, but at the same time, dragons can't travel very far, so anything that's close to anywhere is, like, super expensive because of walking distance. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. On one hand, you can get away with very cheap housing, and on the other hand, you really can't... I mean, they're resistant to fire, so, the th like, the thing that happened in London isn't as likely to happen. Wait a minute, considering that I can automatically make captions out of videos, it's entirely possible that it scans videos and uses the automated caption for that. Who knows? But that'd be very stupid, because that caption system is not that good yet. It needs to be slightly better before it can do that. And that comes from a man who knows his shit a little bit more than the average person. But yeah, it, it takes a while before you can properly caption stuff, and once you can automatically caption, you still can't trust it. Because the context might be different, you know? But then again, context in general is hard to analyze for computers. Context is a very human concept. And because it's very human, computers don't want any of it. I like this. Uh, they, they can be very expensive, and it's not, it's not, it's not a lot to ask to, to, to keep house in some natural environment. It's a little bit more sassy. Wait, where does this take place? Oh, it's the cave scene. Sebastian actually shows up. Like, why are these the same? I'm gonna change a bit. So why is this one directly attached? Like, with the other ones, it's all, like, spaces. Hmm. This one's nice. That's a good, it's a good decision, you know? Could you pat in the back? And if somehow this is one of the last things you do, because don't forget you need 60 achievements for this one, I think, or 40. It's one of the two. Isn't that a little cre uh, let's look up creepy. Yeah, he's like Yeah, isn't it a little it was a good idea, but wasn't that a little creepy following little girl dragons around? <laughs> just saying. Oh there you are, player name, you never left. Why don't you just walk back with them? Like if it's the second option you take, Sebastian should be like, hey, let's go to the office together. You know, tiny tweak. There you are, player name. I like how in the the future, like for some fucking like the, the the RP channel has two, and nobody goes to the old one because fuck them. <laughs> that's a, that's the the that's the official attitude. Um, but in the other one, everything is like ten years in the future. Uh, Ophidia fucking died, for one. Um, but Sebastian and now does indeed sit in one of the fancy chairs. Bryce apparently quit because he found out you know being an alcohol alcoholic. Like sure I have the skills, but I'm an alcoholic and um, you know people deserve better. I deserve better. That kind of stuff. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind, is what he says. Yeah, you know. Sebastian! Just love saying his name. It's interesting that they mention a witness will come forward, implying that fucking Maverick was not supposed to be there and may or may not have lied about the situation at hand. Because it's incredibly likely that Maverick is not allowed to intervene with that situation. Hmm. 
Which is interesting, because isn't this the exact same fucking day you're- This is the day you get sent away and Reza decides to pack his own bags, too. Like, what a coinky dink What a coinky dink How the hell did they know that? I imagine he's only using his gun because he's far away and he knows it's gonna take a bit. And he can afford it, and he really needs to get out of here, you know? Like, it's an emergency situation. He doesn't use his gun when he can do something else, is the point I'm trying to make. Yeah, that's kind of the point. I like the one where, where he didn't do it. Like, uh, where, where, where... Like, the situation where he didn't do anything. He's like, but I did stay back, and I did hide, and it's someone else who did all this, and it's fucking Izumi. And... And it's kind of hilarious. Because then you're like, well, this situation... D is he here, then? If he didn't do any of it, was it Izumi planting evidence? Because Izumi probably would have access to his gun to some extent. To a gun, at least. How could a whole building end up here? Well, who knows? I mean, you don't know how the portals work, so it could literally be time travel at this point. I mean, especially considering that Reza went off in a certain direction. You know. Like, the fact they're jumping to this instead of, like, a parallel world or anything. I mean, we've already have another world. It's entirely possible another parallel world to some extent exists. Like, there's one thing I don't like. The game resolves all of its mysteries on the first playthrough. It doesn't, like, that, that, that would have helped a lot, you know? If it sort of spread them out a bit, schmear them out. Okay, okay. What? Oh, okay, that's how that works. Okay, give me, give me, give me a moment. Like, I, I just talked about this on the chat, and I'm like, you know what? The whole humanity is fuck thing. You could spread that out. The first time you don't review anything, you're just like, if I go back, they'll kill me. And then later, like, listen, if I have to go back, I, I, like, it's not good there. And then slowly over playthroughs, you get more information. That would have been a lot better. And with Azumi, it's like, well, she tells you what you need to know. She tells you everything, but only what you need to know. She tells you, well, the situation's kind of fucked, but... dot dot dot, you know, sort of... Like, the game would work a bit better if it had more major plot points, like big... The overarching story, not the datelines, but the overarching story was a bit more spread out. Statements. Now, there's a word I don't know one for.
Yep, save the little girl. Oh, wait. I like this one. Saving lives matters most. Sort of to bring back home why he's saying this. Because he's a cop, you know. He should be helping people, saving lives. So naturally, it's like, okay, you're doing an investigation, yeah. But Sebastian is, is the kind of person who probably be like, yeah. If you can save a life, do it. Oh, I like how this is the one you have to do. We got the clothes. Investigate. I like how they're different. That's neat. I like this. You did an overdeed and an under. <laughs> no, it's, it's hard to explain. Over that. Let's 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 make sure they're doing this. <laughs> yeah, you did way too much on a like. Over means over, and under and under means un under. So it's like, is it then an over search instead of an under search? Which is it actually sounds like research. Interesting. Hmm. It's interesting that you can get this by doing the, the 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 girl thing. It also awards you the points immediately, which is very interesting. This is just stumbling over a pun. It's it's really trying to bring home. Yeah, I, uh. I don't have commentary. Sorry. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. I like the whole bad thing, because it's like, yeah, not bad at all. Yeah, like, that's if you, like, just to make sure that if you fuck up, you don't fuck up too hard. Oh yeah, the exometer thing. Oh shit, did I do that right? Whoops. I think I'm just gonna copy this. Cause regular system is boring.
That might change, but I like it. It's it's similar, similar in tone. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's true. Uh, Bryce is off duty. He's forced to partake. Uh, you can't involve Maverick in this investigation. Why aren't they, like, signaling other police stations? It's like, hey, listen, could you send someone over? Like, at this point, couldn't you go to, like, Bastion and say, listen, send up a couple of cops to help out? Like, is this not an option? You can transfer temporarily if it's an emergency situation like this. It's a diplomatic disaster. I think that's it. I think I'm going to stop it here, because this goes on for quite a while. Um, I'm surprising this song keeps playing, because it's really not that positive, but the scene kind of has a positive notes to it. It really is kind of an optimistic scene. Um, but yeah, uh, next time... Next time, we're going to go to the orb skip! Wait, what? Persistent Lorem 2 skip? Oh, that's if you can skip Lorem State, so you've done the second... So that's... Why would it use that one? Huh. Okay, I get it. Okay, I get it. So he didn't take the base. You've done Lorem's second date. So you know about the Exomen Sphere to some extent. Uh, and you have the orb. So, yeah. How do you lose the base too? Like, who the fuck takes that kind of... Like, this isn't a rolled up piece of, uh, of string on a, on a charger. This is a base with a wire attached. You don't take that out and about. Unless you're really weird. Then again, Ipsum kinda is weird. Wah wah.